hello everyone today we will discuss how to insert the value of a radio button and the combo box uh, with the windows home application and in a previous video we have already discussed how to create the database in sql server uh, how to create the tables and how to insert the records with the student ID, student name and mobile number means with the tax box. So today we will take a gender for the radio button type worker and course again for a worker will be used so, so save it move to Visual Studio going to take a radio button in a design view and one label for the It is for gender and first radio button is for male and second one is for female okay and another field is for course and for that we will use a combo box control okay so now first we need some items in a combo box so that's why move to its property the property name is a collection so browse this property and write any items name which you want like a, as a course first one is BCA then BCOM and MBA and MCA okay so now in the code part First we need to get the value of radio button and then combo box. So for radio button we will write if radio button 1 is checked equals to equals to true then you will store the text of a radio button in a particular value variable so we will take a variable with a string type it's a g and here in a g you will add you will store its a text and in else part the G will have the female text and in your query you will write a field it's a gender and then its value the gender has a worker data type so you will write single double plus again plus double single and you will provide the G here so you will get its text and for the combo box you need to write its field it's a we have taken a course and again it's a worker data type so you will write single double plus plus double single and combo box one dot 
selected item okay so it's already here execution part we have done in a previous video so now you can run your application and enter the reports one mano it's a mobile number select the gender male and he is from BCA so click on add the record is inserted move to SQL server and right click on your table so you can view the record like this way okay, thank you so much for watching if you liked it uh, please subscribe